I'm going to be making an amazing sweet potato risotto with spelt for you today. Super simple to make, perfect for the cold weather and really, really easy. I've got my spelt grains here, just a really great whole grain which you can use in place of rice. I've got walnuts, I've got apricots, I've got lots of fresh herbs, I've got some sage, some flat leaf parsley, um, spring onions, parmesan, but you can use any other hard cheese you fancy, and a whole bunch of other great ingredients, so let's get cooking. So I'm just going to chop my sweet potato, it's a great ingredient. I'm going to pop it on my baking tray, drizzle with a bit of oil. Which is sea salt. And I'm just going to pop them in the oven to get roasted and golden. So now we're going to talk spelt. So to cook it, basically, it's very, very simple. It's cooked much in the same way as you would with rice. With, but I'm using stock instead of just water, which is going to add a lot more flavour. So I've got a couple of cloves of garlic, which I'm just going to bash here and just roughly chop it. Add a little bit of oil and the garlic. So now the garlic's nice and golden, it's flavoured the oil beautifully, I'm just going to add the spell. I'm a really big fan of spell, I'd use it in anything from risottos to salads, also in soups, it's wonderful as well. Um, in place of pearl barley or brown rice, it's a really, really good ingredient. And the taste is wonderful, it's nutty, it's rich, it's got a really, really good texture as well. I'm a really big fan. Now I've got some sage, which is going to add wonderful flavour to this dish, so I'm just going to take off a few leaves. I'm going to roughly chop it straight into the pan. And they're going to add a really nice depth of flavour. So I've added all my stock to the pan and I'm just going to pop a lid on now and just leave it to cook. And it'll take about half an hour, but you want to check it after about 25 minutes. While my spelt's cooking, I'm just going to roughly chop my walnuts. And these are going to go in the oven to get nice and toasted. So I'm also going to chop the apricots. And these are going to add a really nice sweetness. And my spring onions as well. Just a nice fine chop is good. But don't worry if it's not exact. You can always run your knife back through afterwards. So my spelt is nearly done and my sweet potato is cooked. And I'm going to get them out of the oven now. Look at that, looking lovely and golden. I'm going to get my walnuts as well. We're going to add the potato straight into the pan and we can give it a good mix with about half the walnuts. And we're going to save some for garnish. I'm just going to add some of my spring onions, some of my apricots as well, which are going to add really nice freshness and sweetness to the dish. I'm going to give that a really good mix. Taste. So I can think about the stew's name. Mm. Because of the wonderful fresh herbs and sweetness of the apricot, you need less salt. It's just going to add a really nice depth of flavor. Mm, that's perfect. I'm really happy with that. So I'm just going to add my fresh parsley and this will add a really nice freshness and a squeeze of lemon as well. And now we're ready to serve. It's looking good. And so to finish off, I've got some walnuts still left over. The garnish, so I'll pop some of those on top. Some fresh parsley and a few shavings of Parmesan cheese. So there you have it, my sweet potato spelt risotto. Such an easy dish, fresh, filling, packed full of wonderful whole grains. I really hope you love this recipe.